In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the seamless integration between IBM Integration Bus and IBM API Connect. It is easy to create and deploy a REST API in IIB. You can create a REST API from the beginning using the graphical tooling, or you can generate a REST API from an existing Swagger document. In IBM Integration Bus version 10.005, Capability has been added, which allows you to push one or more deployed REST APIs to IBM API Connect version 5 in a variety of ways depending upon your role. After pushing your REST APIs, you can use IBM API Connect to catalog them, secure the APIs, and define service level agreements for how freely they can be invoked. You can control who is allowed to invoke the APIs and also examine visual analytics data for the APIs. By easily pushing your REST APIs, you can use IBM Integration Bus and IBM API Connect together for developing and managing your REST APIs. This diagram describes the interaction between IBM Integration Bus, IBM API Connect, IBM Data Power Gateway and HTTP client applications. An IIB developer can push a configuration for a deployed REST API using the toolkit to IBM API Connect. An IIB administrator can push the multiple deployed REST APIs using the web user interface or command line to IBM API Connect. When the APIs are published, the configuration for the REST API is automatically pushed out to the IBM Data Power Gateway. HTTP client applications wishing to make an HTTP request to the REST API deployed on the IBM Integration Bus must make an HTTP request to the IBM Data Power Gateway. The IBM Data Power Gateway enforces access control, rate limiting, and other policies before it proxies the HTTP request to IBM Integration Bus. As an IIB developer, I can push the configuration from my deployed REST API to API Connect from the toolkit where I have been developing and testing the REST API. The REST API will be pushed to the draft workspace in API Connect. I can select the REST API that has been deployed to my integration server and then click on Push to IBM API Connect from the context menu. I supply the connection information for the IBM API Connect system to include hostname, port, user ID and password. I choose the organization and then click Finish. I can see that the push was successful and if I log on to IBM API Connect I can see my API in the draft workspace. I can add this API to a product and invoke it. As an IIB administrator, I can use the IIB web user interface to push multiple REST APIs to API Connect. The context menu for integration servers has a new option called Push REST APIs to IBM API Connect. If I select this option on my integration server, I'm shown a window where I can enter the connection details for API Connect. After successfully connecting, I select the organization, product, and optionally the catalog where the product will be staged. As I enter the title of the product, I am informed if the product will be created or if there is an existing product which will be updated. If I specify a catalog, the product will be staged in IBM API Connect. On the next page, I can select which REST APIs that I want to push to IBM API Connect. On the last page, I can optionally specify an HTTP or HTTPS hostname and port which is being used as a proxy or gateway. In this demo, we won't specify a proxy and just click on Push to IBM API Connect. I can see the product is created. The APIs are added to the product and the product is staged. 
As an IIB administrator, I can use the IIB command console to push multiple REST APIs to API Connect. The command is called MQSI push APIs. I can provide the same information to the command and I can see that the APIs are pushed to API Connect. This allows administrators to write automated scripts which push the REST APIs to API Connect. If we log into API Connect, we can see the REST APIs that are in the draft workspace. We can see the Swagger definition that has been uploaded. We can check that we can invoke the REST API from the Assemble tab and receive a response back from the REST API that is running on the IIB system. Now select the operation to invoke. In this example, we select the post receive operation. Now specify the parameters for the operation. We select the post receive operation and specify the parameters for the operation. We have specified a product name of jumpers and a quantity of 100. After clicking invoke, we can see the request has been sent to the REST API running on IIB and a response is returned indicating that 100 jumpers have been received. We can see that the product has been created and staged in the catalog. The product can be published so that it is available to my organization in API Connect. In this tutorial we have demonstrated how an IIB developer or IIB administrator can easily push REST APIs to IBM API Connect using the IIB Toolkit, Web User Interface or Command Line. You can specify the REST APIs a part of a product which is optionally staged in a catalog. The product can be published so that the APIs are available to your organization in API Connect. This seamless integration between IBM Integration Bus and IBM API Connect allows you to easily create, deploy, and manage your REST APIs for your organization.